one of the major issues facing women's sports right now is the debate discussion topic about the inclusion of transgender athletes, biological males in women's sports. I was wondering if you would tell me your position on that issue. Welcome back to Supreme Black Podcast. Now, this question was asked to Don Staley the week of the Final Four, right before the game, uh, the championship game, right? Um, I think this is a poorly timed question. I don't think it's really even a question that should be asked, right? And she was in the middle of a run that she ended up completing. They won the championship, if you watch, women's basketball. Only Gino... Uriyama has done, which is the Connecticut coach. Pat Summit done it in 97 and 98 with having an undefeated women's team that goes on to win the championship. So um, this has only been done by three different coaches, Pat, not Pat Summit, but Don Staley being the third or fourth that has done it now, right? This is the question that is asked. So they're asking about the NAIA has banned transgender athletes not being able to play in sports, particularly women's sports, right? She has asked this during a Final Four run, which were, to me, my focus would be is to talk about how much of a legendary run that she is embarking and, and about to achieve, and I want to ask about it, right? Now, is it an important topic? Absolutely, but she was damned if she do, damned if she don't. So she hesitated. I'm gonna show the entire video to show you exactly how she ended up answering it. But my true thoughts is that if you are born a man and you are competing against women, then that alone speaks for itself. I don't care about how it should be accessible to anyone if they identify themselves as such. That's, that's crazy because I've talked to a lot of different parents that have female athletes that are competing. Their biggest fear is that due to these men or young boys that are changing genders, they are naturally more stronger and faster than their daughters that were naturally born women. And I think this is becoming such a slippery slope that nobody wants to touch it or just tell the truth. That's a fear. Could you imagine a parent, grandparents, a, a dad sitting in the stands and knowing that they're competing against someone that has a naturally born unfair advantage against their daughter? I don't think that you all should be having to ask this question because I don't think it would, should be something that is even considered. The NAIA took a stance and said they're banning it from happening. And I think that is important. If they want to compete, I think they should create a league for trans athletes it shouldn't be mixing them because honestly you're born with the unfair advantage and you're competing against naturally born women i'm all for you want to play sports do whatever you want to do but when it comes to mixing it with women that were naturally born as women that don't have the unfair advantage that takes away opportunities from them it does increase the risk of injury and let's just be clear if you were naturally born a man your competitive drive and athleticism is typically higher. So just make it fair. If they want to compete, I think the thing should be is you create your own league that allows them to play. Don't take the take them take away the privilege of them being able to play a sport, but don't mix it with women athletes. I've heard it from several different men that have daughters that are playing. Um women that have daughters that are playing, that that is their biggest fear, is that their daughters will now be not as enthusiastic about playing sports because now they feel as if that now that men are able to come over and take over their sport, even though some of them could be competitive and some could be better, but the unfair advantage is going to be there. And that's just the truth. That's not me spewing hate. That's not anything like that. The truth of the matter is, is that create a league for trans athletes, allow them to play, keep them with that privilege, but to put it, insert them into women's sports takes away the beauty of seeing women compete against one another. Now I'm gonna play with you, play for you the Don Staley response. Let me know your thoughts. Am I way off on this? Am I right on point? Leave your comments, keep it respectful as always. Long live CC. Check out the video. One of the major issues facing women's sports right now is the debate discussion topic about the inclusion of transgender athletes, biological males in women's sports. I was wondering if you would tell me your position on that issue. Um, 
I'm under the opinion of of if you're a woman, you should play. If you consider yourself a woman or and you want to play sports or, or vice versa, you should be able to play. That's that's my opinion. Yes. Yes. So now the barnstorm of people are going to flood my timeline and be a distraction to me on one of the biggest uh, days of, of, of our game. And I'm okay with that. I really am.